Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. So this is part 5 video on .NET 7 Web API CRUD example using EF Core. Okay, so in this video we are going to implement delete operation. So to implement the delete operation, let me create a action method. Okay, task I action result delete async. Okay, so to delete async, we should get the value from the ID value from the URL. So for that, what I will do, I will define a route. Okay, and that route will contains the dynamic expression. We know dynamic expression specify the braces, and the dynamic placeholder will be ID. And to read this value inside of my on action method i should specify same name here and I, here i can apply validations like the value must be integer only okay now and this should be invoked for delete request for that we should register with http delete attribute okay so now first let's try to fetch the student to delete for that i can use our query okay my db context students find async okay first i want to fetch the deep record from the database and i have to check whether the record is exist in the database that we want to delete so i will check null means if the record is not exist then i simply return a status like not found 404 okay invalid operation okay next if the record exists then i can remove it from my so for add we have add method for update we have update method like so for delete we have method like remove and pass our entire object okay now the state is modified so when the state is modified we know what to do we have to call the save changes async And finally, I want to return no content after successfully deleting. Okay, that is our delete endpoint. So let's try to test it. Go to Swagger. Here you can see the delete endpoint. Okay, and click on tryout. Here we have to pass the ID. So I want to record delete one of the records. So to get the ID of the records, again execute the get request. Okay. So let me re remove the second record. Copy that and add it here and execute and here we got 2.4 no content that means record is deleted so if i again execute this next time i won't see this record so let me execute again get request see i have one record because the previous record is deleted from the db okay so that's all about the delete operation Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this video delivered some useful content to you all. If you like the video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel as well as liking the video. Soon we are going to meet with new content. Until then, signing off.